So this isn't going to be the inspirational day. I'm going to save that for later this week. But uh, I was listening to the uh, Adam Carolla podcast, which multiple people have told me to go check out. But it's actually uh, Pounder Speaks is the reason I started listening to it. Because when he's in his shop working on, on the leather projects, he usually has Adam Carolla. And I can always hear his voice in the background. It's you know an unmistakable Adam Carolla voice. Growing up in Southern California, we had Adam Carolla. Adam Carolla was like everywhere. Uh, he had, last episode was with Anna Ferris. Anna Ferris is the blonde woman from, uh, she got her start on Scary Movie, kind of played a lot of uh, uh, comedy movies based off of uh, satires. That's the word I'm looking for. Did a lot of satires. Well, she got married to Chris Pratt. Adam was saying that he, he and Chris have a lot in common because they were, they worked with their hands when before they got started doing anything. And he went on to talk more about this, and, and it, a light bulb went off of my head, and, I, and I've, I've been looking for the words to explain exactly what this is, and Adam Carolla gave it to me, and, and largely he filled out the thesis, probably a good 50% 50, 50 or so. But I, I wanted to add something into this. So basically, Adam's saying that, you know, society is not doing well with this, with this concept of us not knowing how to do anything with our hands. And it's not the lack of skill that's the issue. It's that people have no cathartic release for using their hands. They have no no way of, of doing something, of learning something, or, or releasing whatever things there are in your brain, putting those folds in there and making those mental connections of, I do this with my hands and uh, I build something and I get this fulfillment, this pleasure center explodes in your brain and you're like, okay. You get more confidence if you can do things with your hands to the to the fruition of the project, you own it and you and you love it and you're and you're cherishing it and you are your own your own support system and that and that's that's the part I think that's missing. He, he mentioned you know you take a bunch of office workers out and and take them to like Habitat for Humanity and make them work for a day or have them raise a barn or have them do this that and the other. And the problem is is that when there when it comes to those situations, there's only a couple people in charge. And that's the problem. It's not so much the working with your hands, although I think that's a vital part of this. It's the fact that there is no support system. You are your support system. You you rise and fall under your own hands, under your own capability, under your own sweat and, and passion to complete the project. Reflecting back on my life, I was a just video game, computer user shut in, which worked to an extent because it got me the jobs that I have, it got me the career path that I have, but I wasn't fulfilled or completed or or, or really a man, right, until I started actually doing projects that needed to get done. And it was largely when Leia and I bought our house together. So it's not that, it's not that long ago, 2008, where I feel like I really have changed for the better. And, and largely it had to do with just having to get things done, having way, way, way bigger um, visions of, of what I can do versus what I was capable of doing and just, well, guess we gotta figure this out. I don't think we as as people, we're, we're, we're drifting away from that and that's not that's not a negative to society. Society will, will go on. It's a negative to us as human beings. I don't think we have that, uh, we don't have that confidence that comes from actually being able to, to, to put something together on your own without any help or maybe a little bit of help and, and really growing from that. Here's my home office for today. Got my Ziploc bags out. Got some goldfish crackers. My speaker. Yeah, so what happened? Uh, well, Ben was croupy. If you want to know what croup is, go Google it. It's a respiratory infection. Very, like, it's like all this congestion in your throat. He had a really tough night and ended up staying with him in the morning. And I got ready to go to work. Forgot my laptop, had to turn back around. Decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set up here and work from home a bit. I've got stuff I gotta take care of anyway. So, working through some document stuff here. A lot to do because Leia is, she's due anytime. I'm, 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 I'm taken aback as I, as I film this, okay? The, um, that LCP that I've been carrying forever, you notice that it's, it's, it's without laser, right? 
I bought this with a laser Mac laser on it. And I bought the wrong, this was, this was in that video the other day. I bought the wrong holster for it. I bought the, the G3. You notice how the laser's not on it anymore? Well, the reason is because the, um, the set screw for the laser was gone. It, it just wasn't there for windage. Elevation was there, but there wasn't one for windage. So I knew a, a screw was needed, and I realized this when I, when I went to go put the, the sight back on and use the new holster. So I'm like, well, crap, what do I do? I just made an account on Laser Max website I registered the product with the registration number and then I said I clicked on contact us and I said hey uh, missing the winded screw for my CF LCP what do I need to do and I got an email back in less than five minutes say I'll send you one that's it done so awesome customer if this comes through that is awesome awesome customer service coming at you trying to kill you and there ain't nobody else around you're gonna have to handle business Yep, that's that's right. I mean, what else? I'd rather have a gun than a, than a knife. I'd rather have a knife than a than my bare hands, etc., etc. Is your life worth a misdemeanor? Problem is, it's a misdemeanor plus you lose your ability to buy guns again. Okay, that was a much needed thing to do. I got rid of that junk. My whole back of the car here was full of stuff to be donated to Goodwill. I uh, I hate. I hate hoarding things, but we seem to do it occasionally for lots of reasons. You know, we're hoarding baby stuff because of the baby and, you know, we held on to some other stuff that was decor items because we were uh, we were coming from an apartment and we just had stuff that didn't go and we thought maybe we'd use it. You know, when you think maybe you'll use this and you don't actually have a date range when you know you're going to use it, Get rid of it unless it's worth a lot of money and you uh and you don't want to rebuy it again most of the time you're better off just letting it go i had to take a break from my my working at home today the world of edc is a very weird place i've got my my edc waiting right here there's there's an edc item in here and it, it wants to my edc wants to meet its new edc friend edc edc all right what do we got i'll show you this in a second let's unpack this bad boy so everybody's going all edc top Spinning tops and yo-yos and all that stuff. I'm going old school. I'm going EDC slingshot. EDC slingshot with a bottle opener. Integrated right there. Made by Brunley. Burnley. I know I keep always doing that. Yeah, that feels good. Let's see what's coming. Oh, and it comes with a shop rag too. That's nice. Okay, so let's let's walk through this. You got this Burnley sling pop shop rag. And then you've got the slingshot itself. And the way they uh the way these band stick in is they use a little BB in the, the band and then that pulls tight into the into geez, I guess it can there we go into the uh, into the slingshot and comes with an extra band some BBs this extra thing that I added on is called a ball pusher when the band breaks you use this guy to shove another band in the hole like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool piece of kit. And then you keep the BBs in there too. So let's load some of these up and go try it out. Got a, uh, got some steel ammo here. I've always used Daisy ammo. It's not like it's any particular. Better than what they sent, but whatever. I haven't shot a slingshot in a long time. Nice. Well, I don't think I'm gonna kill any wild game with this. It is a lot of fun to shoot. My ADD is uh, firing up right now. I gotta, I gotta get up from working and do something. I gotta do something different. This thing, uh, this water filter, it's constantly pissing me off because the, the bolt, the nut keeps getting loose on it. So I'm gonna go with some Loctite. I'm gonna crawl underneath the sink and I'm gonna take care of this mofo right now. Boom! Fixed it. God, I wish all the projects could be that easy. So today's Monday for me. Garby. <laughs> which makes it, yes it is man. It's Monday for me which makes it uh, Life Hack Tuesday for you. And I haven't done one of these in a while, so what's my Life Hack Tuesday? If you find a tool you like, buy two of them. And the reason is, is I bought the precursor to this Husky Torx bit driver. The one with the tip cap that comes off and it's got all the extra bits. 
I bought the the model before this. They look almost the same, and uh, I still have that one. It's in the it's in the garage. And then a uh, couple of years or a year or two went by, and I wanted another one. I wanted one in the garage, and I wanted one at my desk. And it turns out that when I got it, it's like a totally different model. They cheaped out on this handle. This used to be like a separate piece that when you pulled it out, it it, it wasn't just this little compression fit thing. The way that they separated the bits is different, the material is different, it feels different. Everything aside from the bits is, is a different material, different plastic, different whatever. Same look and feel, I mean, not the feel, same look. The two bulges and the little twisty thing. Uh, it had notches too, the notches were nice. So the point is, is if you're gonna buy a tool, buy like two, if not three, particularly if it's a hand tool, a quality hand tool that you end up liking, end up using, because what's ultimately gonna happen is you're either gonna break it or you're gonna like it so much you're gonna want two, and you might as well just have an extra. So that's the life hack for today, pretty simple. Question of the day from Leah. If you didn't live in the US, what country would you live in? Not at all related to Donald Trump's question. Not at all related to Donald Trump. Uh, answer below, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya.